Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us today. Uh, there was a one question uh, one of our members asked in uh, forums. Uh, they asked how they can add a message next to submit button that says something on the form requires their attention, like something that was not populated or something. If uh, we have a big form, large form, uh, that can be useful. So I want to show it uh, uh, the technique here. Uh, first of all, uh, let's uh, we were talking about the ad page, and we we're talking about already build again, and we can see that is it is required. So if you don't do anything extra and build this page, go back to the ad page. What happens here? We go to the ad page and it shows our next available value, but if you want to remove it and we will try to save it. See, uh, it will show you that order ID field is required. This is built-in functionality and it will scroll your form to the first field that needs to be taken care of. So I'm not sure if uh, showing next to submit button is useful in this specific scenario, but it can be useful in some other scenario. So let me show you uh, a few ideas here, how it can be done. First of all, how to display a message somewhere on the page. For that purpose, we need to insert a HTML snippet into this page and we need to position it where we want to. I already done that. I inserted it to using HTML text insert. And this is the code I'm using there. Okay, this is not the actual code, but it's uh, HTML. So the point is, is that we create a div with uh, ID error message. Uh, we're going to use this ID for a couple of purposes. Right now, it doesn't have any text or anything. It's just uh, an empty div. So it doesn't show anything on the page. I mean, it's already there. It just doesn't show anything. And let me show you how we can populate it with something before a record is submitted. Uh, before uh, save button is clicked. So we have an option here in uh, PHP Runner. Uh, there is an event, JavaScript event, that happens uh, before when we click uh, save button on add or edit pages, and it's called before save. That's an example from the manual. And uh, I copied this example and I'm going to expand it a little bit. I'm going to use uh, uh, another function that we have. Since we have added the validation here, we can use the built in validate function. Let's see. Okay. Validate. So uh, you probably know that we can add. Uh, additional we can tell php runner to add additional validation types to certain controls and uh, typical validation types let me show you what kind of validation options we have here we can mail field required or we can tell php runner to make sure it's uh, numeric or is password email money zip code phone number etc etc it can be own so uh, regular expression so anyway, uh, we can add additional validation, validation type here. We already uh, set in that field as required, so we don't need to add additional validation. But what we can do, we can manually uh, validate, uh, meaning check if uh, the current control value conforms validation rules. So that's uh, another piece of code that I copy and paste it. And instead of displaying an alert message, I will be doing something different. So let me show you this code example that goes to add page JavaScript unload event. At uh, add page JavaScript unload event. Okay, I commented it out, so let's 
make it available again. So what we're doing here, we're using the same technique described in the, the first article using before safe event. And uh, second part of the code, it comes straight from uh, uh, validation thing. So we get the control of order ID field. We uh, using validate function and validate function returns uh, a result object which is either true or false and in case uh, when uh, validation uh, we didn't pass the validation that message array will contain a list of uh, validation errors why this is an array uh, the idea is that you can uh, make field not only required, but be also required an uh, email, for instance. So, and if we leave it empty, it will have uh, two messages. One saying that it needs to be populated, and second one, it needs to be an uh, email address. So, and uh, the only piece of uh, code that is different from the manual is that we use uh, jQuery to populate uh, that error message, that div that we have added to the add page, we populate it right here with the message variable. The message variable will have order ID, and then we add all the validation messages to that message. So let's see how it works, OK? And we return false in this case, so we don't want to proceed with record saving. Again, it's uh, just an example. And uh, let's build it. And we go back to the app page. We reload it. And again, we leave an attempt here. We're going to click Save button, and here it is. It shows order ID is required field. Required field is the validation message, and order ID is something that we have added to that message manually. I just want to show one minor thing. So that's the idea. If you want to ins uh, display something next to Save button or next to any other field, what you do first in the page designer, you insert the uh, piece of uh, HTML code, you assign ID. To this message and you can reference in in your JavaScript code. That's that's a technique. Just one more thing. Uh, you want to make uh, this uh, message uh, more prominent, right? So it's uh, visible. Again, uh, we go to modify CSS section and we use CSS syntax that works with uh, ID error message here. We make color red, font size we make 120%. We don't know, I mean, we want to make it flexible. And depending on the scheme, the font size can be different. We just want to make it slightly bigger uh, and it will work with any existing color scheme or theme. And font weight, we want to make it bold. So we click OK. We build it again. And we reload the page again, making it empty. And if I click Save, yep. You can see that it's now red, bold, and uh, slightly bigger font.